Hello and welcome to my death stream. The name of the game is Critically Entangled. It's an RTS about extreme micromanagement, severe lack of time and ultimate balance. In this video I want to um, experiment with map generation or rather um, with map sizes and to hopefully fix a bug. Um, uh, or rather a performance problem that uh, we currently have. Let me show you. In the mainstream there is a um, we have uh, settings for how many map tiles per player should be um, used and how big these are in game this can be seen with um, these uh, these squares here uh, seems they are only... no, okay, now I found a, <laughs> a zoom level that actually shows them. All of these squares are um, map tiles. And the reason I made so many of them is I, uh, in a previous game I made, I had uh, some performance problems when a lot of light lighting effects um, were happening all on one big uh, grand um, plane and um, to prevent this I created these map tiles so any physics or lighting effects or calculations would only concern one tile or a few tiles but not one massive huge tile. However, I noticed that um, uh, if I make a game with four players, which would then use, well, 40 tiles um, on each side per player, which of course gets uh, grows exponentially and we quickly have very many thousands of tiles. So this didn't go too well. Map generation takes very long and the game is also very slow. Let's see. I can also replicate this with just one player if I make the map big enough you see now the game hangs while calculating the map even longer than I had in memory um, which could actually be the case because I'm uh, encoding video in the background. Let's stop this. I can do it later. Let's try again. I thought it was um, hanging for like for a few seconds and then showing a very slow uh, yes slideshow of the game that's what I meant <clears throat> so in order to prevent this I 
could use bigger tiles or just one tile. I mean one, one huge ground plane. Um, I need to have another look at the ground scene. It seems to me Godo can still not remember if I want to see this in list or um, what's this called? Icon view. Um, every time I restart Godot, it resets and uh, I have to switch to the list again because, because I can't find anything in this view. Oh, <laughs> expect, except the particles. That look unique. Okay, what was I gonna do? Have a look at the ground scene. It's actually a static object with a mesh instance, which is a plain mesh. Whoa. Oh, I didn't. I did actually move it. Bounced my mouse into the keyboard. Um, now, what if I make this mesh instance if I make this one mesh instance uh, just as big as my as my 100 tiles, so it's just by multiplying with by 10, and um, yes, and the collision shape. Where is the collision shape? And what is this thing? Oh, this is the the grid, the editor grid. Okay. So the collision shape, that's down here. Uh, it should just also be scaled by scaled up by ten. And it, hello, yes, matches with the with the plane mesh. So. This would be now <clears throat> one tile per player. So I would need to adjust these, just one per one tile per player per axis. And uh, the width, huh. would now be ten times bigger, which is yet a different value from from the size I gave on the mesh which was 100. Godot seems to have some strange uh, different scales here for different nodes. Let's see how this works. Somehow it doesn't. <clears throat> Maybe it falls apart because my calculations didn't expect only one 
tile then there's a chance it would work with two but it doesn't This is um, this would be for two players in the old configuration, which worked okay. If I go to four. Okay, performance is still okay, so it seems it was really the number of tiles that created the problem. And um, the size seems to match because they are, I mean, it, it only makes sense and uh, we can see here because we are um, running Godot in debug mode that um, these, the edges of the, of the collision objects are actually lining up perfectly. Um, yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a quick note here. What's going on? Oh. No. On the um, on the size relationship. Um. Was like this 100 0 100 uh, 1 okay and on the collision shape it's 10 1 10 shape is also a plane or how I guess does this work yes plane shape mesh instance plane and uh, yes collision shape plane So I need to have a look at my map generation function because for some reason with the bigger tiles it doesn't match up anymore. 
if I go back to 20, these tiles will overlap and huh. the rocks are placed strangely. The signs of these rocks are huge. Somehow, map tile width affects the scale of the rocks. Is that possible? If I make it bigger, they get smaller. Or just spaced out more. Well, enough with the guessing. Let's have a look what am I doing. Tile offset is used to, in order to um, place the tiles around point zero. And then we spawn the ground tiles, always with uh, this offset plus tile width. On X and Y axis makes sense. And then continue with the border. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. This makes sure rocks are only placed around the map. Oh, oh, ah, yes, now I see. I was lazy when I did this, and I just placed, since I had smaller tiles, I just placed a big rock on, on each tile that formed the border, which isn't correct anymore. And that's why we have for big rocks or uh, many big rocks perhaps in the center of each tile uh, it seems to be only one ah yes of course this these four tiles would be uh, the map border currently and um, each has one rock in the center <clears throat> now, question is, do I really need a rock border? Or do I just um, make an endless map? Or do I... OK, 
calculate a circle of rocks instead of a square. <clears throat> which could be done in the same way I'm calculating the player positions. That would also mean many, many, many rocks. Many meshes, many collision objects. Maybe not as many as I had tiles before, but still. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for a map without borders. <clears throat> would be number <laughs> that was number of rocks twice as many as tiles on one axis I think uh, this should rather be something like map tile rock number or uh, rock count. multiplied by the actual number of tiles okay before I had Ten tiles on an axis, twenty rocks. Now it's uh, one tile per player, and uh, twenty rocks. Okay, they are more or less around my collector and um, if I could see I 
I guess uh, zero possession must be there. But if there wasn't a rock in the center, ah oh, yes. Okay, so this is zero. The tile isn't for some reason. Uh, of course, one tile is not, and even number. If it was even, I guess this would be up here, one here, one here, one here, or maybe not because it didn't actually look much better with an even number. Hmm. Off by half a tile, maybe, or by by full. No, it seems off by half a tile. <coughs> huh. Map tile number. With one player and one tile per player, we have a map tile number of one. Um, map width is 200, divided by 2 is 100. So at minus 100 is the offset, adding a map tile, uh, adding the tile here with map tile width is 200 times x would be 0. Hmm. So the tile should be at should start at Except maybe I'm looking at this wrong. If I could see an axis here. <gasps> hmm. Nope. Navigation doesn't seem like sound like an axis. No, no. <clears throat> um. Let 
let's add an axis axis helper to have anything like this prepared so I'm gonna use a mesh instance for the x-axis um, a cube Resize it. To indicate X axis more clearly and I would like to give it a color. Okay. Cube first, cube mesh size add material and make it green. Okay, and the last one C axis add cube mesh. Um, scale this way. It's a little bigger. <clears throat> Doesn't matter. And make this one blue. And the X one I would point in the same direction as in the editor. Okay. Um, let's see if this helps. Open the main scene to hopefully have it. Um, or yeah, God damn it! List view. I always want to list view um, to have it oriented by Godot's default. But no. Nope. Can I reset the view somehow? Front, front view. This is front view in my camera. <laughs> my camera's up there. I'm looking at it from the right. C 
So this is <clears throat> what I see when the game is started. Yes, okay. So my tile offset goes up here. Tile offset goes up here. So for some reason the tile offset is too big. Um, quick note. Somehow, the camera doesn't seem to. Um, I mean, it's uh, it's strange just the, that the camera is looking from the right side instead of from the front. This half the width of a uh, one tile seems to be unnecessary for some reason since I made since I made the tiles bigger. away from center, including the rocks. Huh. Which means the offset of course is still needed, but the tiles don't work with it. Ah, uh, because no. <laughs> no, I don't know why. I don't know. Two tiles per side, each two hundred. Um, Four hundred divided by two. Two hundred. 
and um, yeah, minus 200. Of course, with an odd, no, with an even number of tiles, it would have to be only half of a tile. To have center, uh, to have them all centered ab around zero. So divided by four. For the tiles. So we get the tiles centered around. Centered around zero position and the rocks. They start at ah, yes, the rocks are different because they aren't so ain't so big aren't as big as the um, as the map tiles now. So the calculation needs to be different here. It actually needs to be what is this? Half half a tile off on each side. Something like this. So let's uh, have a separate rock offset. Which is just the tile offset plus half of one tile. Did I get that right? No, made it worse, perhaps. Oh, and actually, and I'm not using it anyway. Um, the rocks are too far in this direction, while the, which is the positive direction for x and y, and this is the negative. So actually, the tile, the offset for the rocks should be even smaller than the tile offset. And we have to use 
block offset here and here. Okay, that's better. That's much better. <laughs> Oops. about the player positions seem to be arranged around center around zero. <clears throat> Let's have some hello. Have more rocks. Mm. Okay. Okay. Um, now let's export this and see how the performance is for um, four players and the player positions if they are actually all within the map one client Ooh. Two clients. Three clients and the host. <clears throat> oh, this uh, this doesn't look too good. Let's see how what happens. Performance is much better. Map is huge. Player positions. Um, rock positions are okay. Player positions. Not so much. Player positions are off. Let's see. Let this one move towards the center. Um, okay. Oh, now the map is not, the map isn't centered anymore. Uh, I can't even do the simplest math right sometimes. So, um, of course, the offset, tile offset needs to be 
Mm. Needs to depend on the on the number of tiles. Almost like a rock, didn't see you. Well, performance is increased, that's what I wanted uh, primarily, and leaves me with two new but hopefully smaller issues. One is Two of them were actually very close together, but they seemed to be seemed to be. Uh, And they were around center. That was okay. If the map was also around center, they should should be okay. Still. Doesn't seem to hurt the game, but um, can be confusing for players in the lobby, of course, if, they, if it looks like they aren't in the game. Okay. So, see you next time and thanks a lot.
for watching.